please. I would make one point. Of, that well, was no, also, please, we also... Please just let me ask my question. Of course. A fiery exchange between the former Chancellor of the Exchequer and the Covid inquiry lawyer. If someone had said... It was George Osborne's turn today to defend his work. And not just defend. He took credit for helping us survive the pandemic. From the furlough scheme to avoiding a banking crisis to funding the vaccine programme. In 2020, it turned out to be fairly easy and rapid to be able to put those support systems in place. Through the programme we pursued as a government, we created the fiscal space so we could end up spending £370 billion to help people uh, deal with all the uh, adverse effects that the lockdown introduced. If Mr Osborne was looking for a thank you, this isn't the place. The Covid inquiry is trying to establish whether his Treasury had planned for a pandemic. Their witness today told them in no uncertain terms it hadn't. No one I'm aware of anywhere in the Western world, maybe anywhere else, anywhere in the world, said, you know what governments should prepare for? They should prepare for a coronavirus pandemic that will require us to lock down the entire economy for months on end. Obviously, if someone had said that, then there would be a legitimate question, which is, why aren't you preparing for it? But I'm, unfortunately, no one did. Like his boss the day before, Mr Osborne left the inquiry refusing to accept any blame. He'd been forced to defend his austerity regime because earlier this week there'd been suggestions that he and David Cameron had left the health service depleted. That came from the doctors' union, the trades union congress and some bereaved family members. Now it's up to the inquiry chair to say whether she agrees. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News at the COVID inquiry in London.